Our other top story tonight, despite a multi-million dollar false claims act settlement and allegations of unnecessary medical procedures, a local doctor's state license remains active and no disciplinary action has been taken yet. Why? In Florida, the state's medical board decides whether any discipline is taken on the doctor's license after the Department of Health finds probable cause. But as 10 investigates, Jennifer Titus has learned... It could take years for that to happen, all while doctors with a history of complaints continue to work. Once an avid walker and active mother of two. <laughs> just getting across the room is now a struggle. What would you say on a, on a daily basis? How would you rate it on a score of zero to 10, your pain level? Over 10. I will never like for no one to experience it in, the, in their life. And do you believe that this didn't have to happen? No, nope, it didn't have to happen. Uh, uh. Carla Baker says in 2013, she had a mild heart attack. When she moved to Orlando a few years later, she needed a cardiologist. I went to the office and asked if they do things for the heart that they told me yes. And that's when that was the beginning of my appointment with Dr. Paul. She says her first stent was put in back in 2016 at Dr. Ashish Powell's office in Haines City. But the stents didn't stop there. I get several stents. I got one in my other groin in 2019, in my right groin, my left groin. Carla says Dr. Powell recommended another procedure in August 2022. I was trying to tell him it's hurting because I was weak. It's hurting, it's hurting, please stop. I was begging him, Dr. Paul, please stop, it's hurting. And when I feel something pop in my leg, and it, what I remember, he said, call the ambulance. She was rushed to Orlando Regional Health. Thank God of that doctor, I'm still alive. But the balloon, like he told me, the balloon is still in my leg. She says before having any procedures, she could walk perfectly fine. It's bad, and they say, like, if anything, they probably can amputate my leg. Baker filed a lawsuit against Dr. Powell, claiming some of the procedures were unnecessary in the first place. Other patients have made the same claims against Powell, which is why he was front and center at this Florida Board of Medicine meeting on August 4th. This settlement is the department's proposed resolution of four administrative complaints. Three patients filed these administrative complaints with the board alleging medical malpractice that included unnecessary procedures. From February 25th, 2015 through May 13th, 2015, respondent treated HW for complaints of burning pain, numbness, and tingling in the legs. During the treatment period, respondent performed multiple unnecessary vascular procedures. Case number 2017-06708 essentially has the exact same allegations. In the investigative paperwork sent to the board, Dr. Powell disputed all the allegations and the complaints that any of the procedures were unnecessary. The uh, expert's opinion, which you rely on, it's, it's quite damaging to you. And it's obvious that, uh, that some of these procedure, procedures, if not most of the procedures, were probably not necessary. Here's the thing. Unnecessary procedures are the same words written by the Department of Justice when they released this press release against Dr. Powell, announcing a settlement with Dr. Powell for $6.75 million in 2021 to resolve allegations that he violated the False Claims Act by performing medically unnecessary ablations and vein stent procedures. They wanted to proceed further uh, with litigation and we figured it would wanted to settle it at that point. I don't see too many uh, doctors uh, who have integrity agreement with the Department of Justice for the things they perform. If you're an incredible physician, I don't think the Department of Justice wants an agreement with you. Before the hearing, the Department of Health had reached a settlement agreement with Dr. Powell that would require a letter of concern, a fine of $20,000, costs not to exceed $15,000, he was also supposed to complete some continuing medical education credits. So did you teach yourself all of this? You read about it and taught yourself? Or, or? Yes. The board ultimately voted that settlement wasn't enough. You know, there's no question that he should have some kind of supervision. Instead, they countered he should have a letter of reprimand, two years probation, 20% of his records reviewed, and not be allowed to perform the vascular procedures 
on lower extremities. Anything to say to any of your clients who believe that they were given unnecessary procedures? Dr. Powell, anything to say about what happened in there today? During most of today's meeting, the board will be resolving disciplinary issues. The board not only heard Powell's cases, but other complaints against doctors that go back years. 2018. Ten investigates caught up with the medical board's chair asking him why some of these cases take so long to hear. We need to get um, uh, experts in that case matter to look at these cases and determine whether or not the physician uh, practiced outside the standard of care. And this could take a long time to do that. And then there's also uh, staffing issues and we have staffing issues to get to get these things these cases move through the system and that could take time as well <laughs> for Carla Baker she worries now that time may not be on her side there's something need to be done this is why you want your story out they need to see this this is unbelievable Carla Baker's case has not yet been heard in court. And regarding the Department of Justice settlement, Dave, with Dr. Powell, that is nowhere on his practitioner profile. The Department of Health does not require federal settlements to be posted publicly on the site. So I guess, Jen, the question is, what is the best way for a patient to know about a doctor's background or maybe one they're looking into? Yeah, you really need to know your way around the Department of Health's practitioner profile. The front page may look great. The license might appear clear and active, but complaints do become public once Department of Health finds probable cause. We should mention here, Jen has made a video to walk you through how to understand what's on a doctor's profile. Just go to her story on 10tampabay.com slash 10investigates.